G'day viewers, here we are. We're going to run a little service I've made called Speedy Red Thing. Why? Because I want to know how fast the 387-2GX, the Gatwick Express, that comes from London Commuter, will actually go. So we're going to run it on southeastern high speed. And we're going to run it in AC mode. So let's just get started. Master key into forward. Let's get some doors open so passengers get on. All right, now we need to switch it to AC mode because we've got the overhead here. I've run it the other way out to this station and I got up to 124 mile an hour. I'm hoping, now let's put the panto up, I'm hoping that we can get it up a little bit faster because it seems to me it's uphill to this station. Maybe it's downhill the other way. That would be slightly logical. Okay, the pantograph is up. Let's get some lights on. Day running will be fine. Even though we're going to be doing a nasty, let's stick our safeties on because it doesn't stop us going too fast. Probably should, but it doesn't. Let's reset that. And we can lock the doors. Let's have a quick look outside. We have our train. We have a pantograph. Excellent. And we are ready to roll. Remember, the objective is to see how fast it will go. So we're in forward. Got our doors shut. Brakes are releasing. And away we go. Let's just go into peg three so we get no wheel slip. I thought it did after a moment then. Off it goes. And into P4, now that we're moving. Heading for St Pancras. I still think of Pancreas every time I see the word St Pancras. So I've just got it in P4 and I'm planning on just leaving it there to be honest. Not even what I mean by P4. Down here on our controller, we have our notches one, two, three, four. And in the other way, we have one, two, three, four of brakes as well, although the fourth notch in braking is emergency and applies a little bit of a penalty. So here we go. Made 70 mile an hour. Now we did get to 124 coming the other way. We go into the tunnel. Let's put our lights into night running now. We don't see much anyway, because DTG aren't that good with tunnels, I have to say. I know they say it's more realistic this way, but it's boring. I want to see more infrastructure. I mean, you model it, why can't we look at it? I'd like that to be my option, to have more light. Not just have it forced on me. Well, we're up to 100 already, we're doing quite well, so it's uh, chopping along. Chuffin? Chuffin. Chuffin. Chuffin along. That'll be it. 110. Now we're going to peg out on the dial, so we'll uh, have to use the rail driver for our speed. Because it pegs out on the dial, and if I turn on the HUD, it also pegs out on the HUD at 125, which is a bit sad. Let's just get rid of the HUD though. HUD's boring. We've got 18 miles to go. We're just hovering a little under the 110 mark at the moment. In fact, we're slowing down a little. Coming out of the first tunnel. Up the uphill grade. and coming back down to 105. Bit of vigilance. I am still here, train. Here we go. We're clanking up to the top of the roller coaster mound now. Coming over the top and starting the downhill run, which is where we should accelerate. And we are indeed picking up speed again. Working our way back to 110. Now remember we did get to 124 in the other direction. So let's see how we go this time. This curve will probably wash a little bit more speed off. Slowly, slowly inching our way towards 120.
ever so slowly. Oh, we're nearly oh, 122. Chillets. Coming into another uphill section, we'll lose a little bit of speed here. Not doing too badly. Haven't dropped below 120 yet. Coming to the top of the rise now. And racing again. We didn't lose much. We didn't actually go below 120 going up that rise. 124, we've equaled our previous best. And a lot sooner into the run. Are we going to get over 124 though? That's the question. That's the magic number. Oh, we've dropped back down to 123. This isn't looking very promising. I was kind of hoping we could beat that 124. I'm kind of hoping for 125. Just that tiny bit more. Surely we can do it. Come on, train. We know you can do it. Let's have a look outside. again. Uh, drop down to 121. Can it actually get above 124? That's the question. We're about to go downhill again. This curb is also eating a little bit of speed. It should probably eat a little more than it did. We're accelerating again now. 123. 124. We're back at the magic number. Can we get that one more? Just that one more. Oh no, we're back down to 123 again. I have to wonder if this thing's governed and actually won't go over 124. Because we're in a nice flat bit. Minimum air disturbance thanks to the panels. Vigilance. Let's go outside again. to descend into our next tunnel it's quite a steep descent into this tunnel so we are doing 123 at the moment 124 125 we've done it we've hit the magic number 125 126 127 going down this steep grade 28 we have set a new record for this train at 128 miles an hour is that going to be the best we get though and the question is, will I be able to stop when I get to St Pancras? Because I don't really consider a speed run to be a successful speed run if I can't stop at the end and I plough into the buffers. Because while that's funny, and it does yield a good crash video, it's not successful. So we've got 9.8 miles to go. We briefly got back up to 127. We're down to 126 again now. Don't know if it'll let me out in this tunnel. That's not very helpful, is it? Hmm, not much to see in a tunnel, is there? Kind of dark. Back to the cab then. So we did get up to 128 very, very, very briefly. So we did set a record. But uh, we're starting to go uphill again now. We're coming into the intermediate station very shortly, which we're just going to blast through flat knack. We're not going to slow down for it. And we'll see how we go on the final part of the run. But I am fairly happy that we got up to the 128 mark. A bit of vigilance again. Just hovering down around 123 and we're losing some more speed. I think we're on the up gradient into the station now. We go downhill again after this station, heading into St Pancras, so the question is, will we get over the 128 after this uphill grade? Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if we managed to top the 128? I kind of think I'll be a little bit surprised if we do, but we'll see in a moment. So we've got lots going on. 
it's hard to see that there's lots going on, but there's lots going on. We are still here, sitting in our little tunnel. 6.6 6 miles to go, and we're back down to 123 now. Vigilance. Just proving I'm still awake to the little train. It's hard to find interesting things to talk about when you're driving through a tunnel. I guess this is what a baby feels like on the way out. Sooner or later, you're just going to pop into the light. Here it comes. Huge sound of champagne cork popping. That was kind of pathetic, wasn't it? Ooh, that's a sharp one. That was sharp. I think we might want to go outside the train for the next one. Ripping along at 121. Through the sharp points again and back into the tunnel. And downhill we go again. 124. 4.4 miles to go. 125. Can we squeeze another 128 out of it? Don't know. It's not feeling like we're going to. We're dropping in speed again. 123. It's feeling kind of like we're going uphill again. 122, 123 again. So I think that brief 128 might have been the moment of victory. But let's see. Let's let it run to the end and we'll see how we go. I will slow down when we shoot out of these tunnels because I don't want to crash into the station at the far end. But I'm going to keep going flat back until we're out. Oh, we're losing speed again. 121 now. wondering where I'm watching to get my speed since the speedometer is very much pegged I am looking at the rail driver <laughs> in the tunnels we go two miles to go don't think we're going to get an opportunity to get up any further than the 128 that we achieved Doing okay. 1.5 miles to go. We're going to find out how good this thing's brakes are pretty soon. Oh, we've come down to 118. We're going up the steep rise back to the surface. One mile to go. End of the tunnel's coming up. We've got a bloody... No, it's not a yellow light. It's a green light. Oh, is it swearing at me then? Well, it's stayed on. But now we're going to have to break like hell or we aren't going to stop. Let's go outside and watch this. Stayed on the tracks, but can it actually stop before we get into the platforms? I think I'm going to have to go into emergency. And I think this is going to be a crash. Hold on to your heads. This is going to be tight. It's feeling like a crash to me. Boom. Oh, well. But anyway, we did get up to 128, so I guess I'll leave it there. 128. That was kind of cool. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow or doesn't as the case may be.